All right, guys. So today we are bringing in a seller with our team who does cold calling, who does agent outreach, our lead manager. So this is a whole behind the scenes meeting that you get to be a fly on the wall and listen to what goes on. Tons and tons of secret sauce here. This is going to elevate your game listening to this. So if you're getting some traction in your business, you're getting some motivation by listening to these podcasts, by watching these videos, follow us, do what you got to do. It helps us so much because we want to get Pace Morby on this thing one day and some of the other greats in the industry. Jump right in and learn something. All right. So for everybody on the team who don't know Miss Heather, she is the owner of a property that we bought. 10 months ago, maybe now, eight months, and then we rehabbed it. So Oriana, I want you to meet a real person because <laughs> she's Hi. called, she's been calling thousands and thousands of people. And I'm like, Oriana, you've got to meet somebody who was actually, you know, in a situation where we helped them out. Kind of explain like how that process went. So you, did you have the house listed? I was in the process of working with, I can't remember her name now, a real estate agent. I can't remember her name. Um, Leslie Ortego. Leslie to get it listed. I don't, I can't remember if she had actually listed it yet or not, to be honest. Um, but in that process, she reached out to you, I guess you're your team to, um, to help out. And at that time, like I hadn't paid the note on it forever. I'd had terrible renters and knew it needed a ton of work, um, yeah. but I didn't have the time and yeah, maybe finances, but I certainly didn't have the time to do it. Sure. And if I remember right, um, Leslie, I think, was a little bit afraid to list it just because the property needed work. And I think that's why she reached out to us. I mean, that that's that's what we buy because we need to buy something we can add value to it, you know? Right. But in terms of like you, you must have had some financial situation going on because I think there was a significant amount of, of money owed on the property at the time. Yeah, it was in pre-foreclosure. Um it was more of, um, I just, I, I mean, inflation hit last summer and sure. I could have swung paying both mortgages, you know, our current house and that one. It was just a matter of like, you know, it, it would have put me living paycheck to paycheck and I don't, I don't like doing that. Um, right. And it was a leftover property from a divorce um, that I kind of ended up getting stuck with and then had these terrible experiences with renters. So there was a little bit of stick in my head in the sand as well, to be honest. We've, we've all been there in different parts of our life. So when we came to you to try to solve a solution, told you that, well, we couldn't really buy the house like outright, but we could get you out of this bind as far as we meaning we could catch the mortgage up mm -hmm. so you wouldn't have to come out of pocket that money and then we would take over those payments every month how has that helped you uh tremendously i mean my credit was starting to suffer i mean i don't need to buy anything currently and i don't use credit for a lot but still you know for future purposes um and then i mean it just took the the weight of the situation off my shoulders to be honest so huge help. I guess we could say that it was a, a big emotional relief. Is that a good way to describe it? It was. Um, and I don't know if Leslie communicated that, that part, like there was actually some fear, to be honest, too. Um, I actually had a property um, in San Antonio, Texas, we ended up moving in a hurry. That's a whole therapy session in and of itself. Um, I was still married to my ex husband at that time, but similar situation happened, we were still paying both mortgages. But um, it was just too much. And we ended up similar situation to what you're doing, but that did not turn out well, um, to say the least. And so there was a little bit of fear going into this as well because of that poor experience. You mean fear as far as letting us pay that, catch that loan up and then take over those payments? That That's the fear? Yes, because that person, it was the same type of situation and, and deal, but then they just disappeared. There was no further communication. Uh, um, there were many months that they did not pay the mortgage on time. So it was stress relief at first, but then after so long down the road, it became just another another situation I had to solve. Well, how did, based on that history, because if I would have went through that, I might would have never done what you did a second time. <laughs> So based on that history, how did you end up 
feel uncomfortable enough to to do a deal with us and, and you know move forward uh you were more communicative for sure um by the time i did that deal with the san antonio property i had actually moved out of the home so there was you know and it, it just gave him way more leeway to just complete and just not communicate yeah. um so you communicated more for sure and you seem like by the book um you, it, it doesn't seem like you wanted to screw me over. Um, and you were very concerned that I was going to screw you over, honestly. Like, I felt that way. I don't know if that was really a concern for you, but like, I felt like, you know, you definitely wanted to to build trust. It wasn't just a, you know, I'm just going to take your word for everything. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't because I thought you would screw me over. It's because I know that we're going to be in this for a couple of years mm -hmm. and I start the relationship purposefully trying to build, you know, trust. I mean, trust, but verify, right? I mean, yes, absolutely. And, no, I hundred percent agree. And that's how it's built. I mean, and now we're into this thing at least eight to 10 months. We haven't mm -hmm. missed a payment. We caught you up, uh, your mortgage. Now that's helping your credit instead of it hurting your credit. Cause this, this mortgage is getting paid every single month, uh, like clockwork. Mm -hmm. And we've added value to the property. So God forbid if something would happen and you would ever have to get that property back, now it's worth a lot more than it was. Right. Uh, hello, Miss Heather. Hello. Um, I know that there are a lot of people who is trying to, you know, purchase the property. You've mentioned that one of the reasons why you chose Pink Piggy Investment is because we um, like earn your trust. What was the first thing that um, comes up in your mind once or by the time that we reached out to you? I just want to know more because to be honest with you, I'm new here and mm -hmm. I really want to I really want to continue what they are doing before and you um, telling us right now that we've been we earned your trust that we are really helpful. We are not like other investment company. Um, I just want to know uh, what is our difference um, between the other investment um, companies, the way we talk to you at first and how that helps us to, you know, makes you say yes to purchase the property. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, the first time I met James was actually at the the closing, the signing. Um, but he didn't just come in and it was just like, hey, sign these papers. It was like he actually made a point to try to get to know me. Like he asked me what I did for a living, um, asked me about my family. Um, and that goes a long way, you know, just as far as like, I mean, I know business is business, but at the same time, when you're talking about building trust again, um, it's nice when people know something about you or at least want yeah. to know something about you. We met at the closing in person, but we were negotiating on the phone and through emails and stuff before that. Yeah. And we even had like a massive <laughs> uh, road bump, speed bump, uh, crater, <laughs> what you want to call it, where, you know, he actually had a buyer for the property and, and a potential sale. And like we could kind of wrap it up with a bone. Um, and there ended up being a lien on the property that I had no clue existed. And like his people worked with my people and it all ended up being like smooth sailing through that process too. Yeah, that's a good lesson. That's a whole, a whole other lesson for another right. day. But yeah, there was, after we purchased the property, there was, we found out there was a lien that we didn't know about previously. And it did cause us to not be able to sell the property like we had intended, but that's going to still work out over the next couple of years. It's a good property. It's in a good location. As long as you keep the property in good condition, uh, a lot of the other problems go away with time. Yeah. So, and with good attorneys. <laughs> I was about to say, and, and some lawyers. <laughs> so, so what about Shantae? What do you say, Shantae? You have any questions? Sure, I'll be very brief. Thank you, Heather, for the opportunity. I just have a couple questions in regards to your agent. So when you're, I'm assuming your agent presented this information to you. What was your initial take when the agent came to you with this option on the table for you? Uh, fear. Um, and I actually expressed that to her because of my previous experience. Um, but she knows from what I understand, she knows you personally, right, James? Yeah, yeah. And spoke very highly of James um, and his character. And so that, you know, and, and I had met Leslie in person um, prior to. And so, and she came recommended from a friend. Like, I didn't just find her out of the yellow pages. 
Um, and so I guess that cascade of like, she was recommended by somebody, met with her, I felt comfortable with her. And then once she recommended it again, I felt fearful, but you know, she, she vouched for James's character um, because she has a relationship with him as well. Okay, so overall, you're saying that being that the agent had a relationship, they made you more confident in the ability of getting it right this time for you. Correct. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, that that's it. Thank you. You're welcome. We appreciate you, Miss Heather, coming on. Is there any last thoughts that you have for, for Oriana and Shantae and Alex? No, just, again, be honest and, you know, build relationships with people uh, makes a big difference. So. All right, well, we're going to let you go, Heather. Thank you so much for taking this time on your lunch break. Like, okay. we really appreciate it. And we're going to reach out to you. Thank you for listening to this episode. If you're ready to level up your real estate investing journey, go over to 90upchallenge.com. 90upchallenge.com, where we offer online courses, group coaching, and one-on-one coaching. We hope to see you there.